Chicago visiting our friend Laura and yeah, we're gonna take you guys along. Cool, so this is Ravenswood and like if you go up and take a left, we're in Lincoln Square. So it's all like bookshops and like record stores and coffee shops. Super cute. And we're getting on the brown line at Damon. We're going towards the loop to go to the I'm so excited. <laughs> There are so many incredible reasons to visit Chicago, and our top two are our best friend Laura and her cats. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, we had quite a few reasons. Chicago is the third largest city in the U.S. It's home to Lake Michigan, Millennium Park, 200 miles of bike lanes, some inspiring vegan food, and the loop. We got into full tourist mode as we admired Cloud Gate, aka The Bean. It's one of the world's largest permanent outdoor art installations, and its shiny reflective surface is inspired by liquid mercury. As we continued to explore the park, we walked past Crown Fountain. It's an interactive art piece that showcases the faces of local Chicagoans. It was fun watching the kids scream and squeal as the faces changed from smiling to spitting water. The piece uses technology and creativity to illustrate a coexistence that should exist between humans and nature. We continued on through Grant Park, pausing only for snacks and some quick dance breaks, and then made a pit stop at the famous Buckingham Fountain. From there, we made our way over to the Chicago Riverwalk. The Chicago Riverwalk offers serenity and whimsy. It's a great spot to kayak, stroll, check out art installations, or grab a drink. late afternoon, we explored Lincoln Square in Ravenswood. We grabbed a bite and then we finished our day with cocktails at Victor Bar. The cocktails were delightful and creative. The intimate setting made it a great spot to catch up and it's definitely a must try if you're in the neighborhood. I ordered the fire in the hole and Taryn had the Spanish caravan. The nightlife in Chicago is electric and a cultural hub of the Midwest. It might be the highlight of your visit. Oh, listen, honey, if I told you about the way that I found yeah. I wouldn't waste a minute if I had you awesome with sound. We'd be walking in the moonlight, staying up to sunrise. Baby, you can let your walls come down. We'd be dancing in the corner, sleeping on my shoulder. You can come and have it all with me if you want it, baby. If you got it bad, like I got it bad for you. You got it bad, like I got it bad for you Let me tell you about the way that I've been thinking about us Yeah You wanted honesty but couldn't find someone you could trust We woke up and after coffee and a little cat comfort, we embarked on a walk to the beach the great thing about Chicago is that there are quite a few beaches accessible by foot or the CTA. Our walk took us about 45 minutes and we grabbed some fruit on the way. Shaylin swam in the Great Lakes when she took her cross-country road trip, but this was my first time. Lake Michigan is the third largest of the Great Lakes based on surface area. There are 26 miles of lakefront and 25 beaches in Chicago. We spent lots of time swimming and relaxing by the beach. 
So we're here at Foster Beach on Lake Michigan and we're hanging out. Taryn is already in the water. <laughs> and yeah, it's actually super gorgeous. It was tough to leave the cats at home, but necessary. <laughs> Cheer. Uh, yeah, there's so many people here. It's really nice though, because it's all spread out. Fresh air feels really good, so yeah. <laughs> So let me be good to I could be the one who gives you everything you want and more. I've been sitting on the sideline, waiting till the time's right for something about this moment. Feel so good. So I gotta know if you got it bad, like I got it bad for you. Laura, tell us about the riptides. <laughs> there's, there's warning sometimes about riptide because I think people think that it's not the ocean. There's like no form of current. So I did like go full mom mode and like be like, you need to be cautious about it. If you get stuck in the riptide, you need to swim side. <laughs> yeah. The lifeguard called me in a few times. <laughs> I got in trouble. <laughs> Someone is in so much trouble. <laughs> On our way back from the beach, we were surprised to pass a Chicago flag on someone's home. The top blue bar on the flag represents Lake Michigan, and the bottom bar is for the north branch of the Chicago River. Each star on the flag stands for a historical event. There's one for Fort Dearborn, the Great Chicago Fire, the World's Columbian Exposition, and the Century of Progress Exposition. The kittens are six months apart and have a wonderful sibling relationship. Cats are very social animals, and it's always a good idea to adopt cats in twos. They can find companionship in one another and won't get lonely when you are gone. The older cat, Knox, loves to play with Lola, but also loves being cuddled and carried throughout the house, and Lola is filled with curious kitten energy still. Best cat mom. They're so dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I also don't know what that is. Yeah. It's amazing. Wicker.
Tiger Park is a hive of activity. It's known for being artsy with trendy food, vintage stores, dive bars, bookshops, and some of Chicago's favorite indie music venues. We popped into Bloom Plant-Based Kitchen for some Topo Chico's, beet dumplings, lottery peppers, and buffalo cauliflower. The beet dumplings were definitely a favorite and 10 out of 10 would recommend grabbing a bite here. After walking around a bit, we popped into the Revel Room and were excited to find they had Malort on hand. Malort is Chicago's cult liquor that survived prohibition and is a must try for anyone visiting Chicago. 90% of all Malort is consumed within Cook County, Illinois. There is some hot debate surrounding the flavor of Malort. Grapefruit may be the most popular, but I agree with the haters. It tastes like pure gasoline. Is the biggest pro. <laughs> The next morning, we woke up early and walked to Aromo Cafe in Ravenswood for some coffee, corgi pets, and vegan breakfast before heading out to our flights back to San Francisco. Oh, and I really think you should know that you make me feel so. We hope you enjoyed being tourists with us in Chicago. And we'd like to give a special thanks to Laura, Lola, and Knox for hosting us. Please remember to like, subscribe, and comment on our channel to support us. Thanks!